Oh man. Shit. There we go. Man, stream you already effing up sometimes. I'll be like, bro, it'd be lagging. Yeah, I know. You feel me? Hey, I got another guest, y'all. An incredible artiste. You feel me? Got clean ass paintings and murals and all them things. Hey, bro, I'm thoroughly impressed. You feel me? Shit is incredible, bro. You feel me? Look, y'all, I got. He's also my bruh. We hoop together. You feel me? So before we came on, we was talking about hoop and stuff. You know what I mean? I know y'all don't want to hear about that. Y'all want to hear about the artist stuff. You feel me? But yeah, bruh, this is my bruh, the incredible artist, Omari Morin. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? You did it before I even can tell them. You know what? Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Air horns to you too, bruh. I'll be telling them, like, guess what? Artist yeah. Is. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, let my people know who you are. You feel me? Uh, any projects, any things you want my audience to know? Floor is yours, bro. Hey, so what up? What up? What up? It's your boy. It's your boy Omari. Also go by the name Royal O. So on Instagram is R period O Y A L underscore O. So just Royal O. That's the hashtag name. Whatever you want to find me on TikTok, Instagram. Even YouTube, I'm about to start that up as well. Yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Your boy's about to start getting up there with it. You know what I'm saying? YouTube might be the way, but the art is nowadays, man. So you never know. We we got to hop on that train too, man. See my boy popping off with it. So yeah, I'm on yeah. well, show the respect. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. His thing, I'm right there with him. So this is just this, 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 this the beginning. You know what, guys? This is the beginning. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm an upcoming artist. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been established in other states like Maryland, where I'm from. Okay. But in California, you, you basically got to start all over. You know, you got to build your name back up, build a whole new clientele. You got to yes. build some new customers, get your name out there all over again. So mm-hmm. basically, I'm out here now, right here for the grind, trying to make it happen. You already know it's going to happen sooner than later. So when y'all see this interview right now, mm-hmm. give us a little couple months later. We're going to do a part two, round two, a follow up. We're going to be outside with it. You know I mean? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey. All right, bro. So what what got you like inspired into like, you know, uh drawing and doing murals and stuff like that? What's the inspiration, bro? So, hey, I ain't gonna hold you. It's always been inside me, my boy. So it's like mm-hmm. I started when I was a younger kid. So right coming, I want to say the minute I could hold a pencil, mm-hmm. I was like on on a paper, pen and paper, just making stuff up in my head. So from watching animes, from okay having a love for animals. It's just like all this stuff that's always been my head, I had to find a way to let it out. So okay. the best way for me to creatively let it out was through a pencil. So once I picked up the pencil, I just started drawing any and everything, started making up characters, try to trace anime. Okay. So it's just like over time, I started out drawing and then eventually it switched over to like painting into just other mediums. And I'm like a jack of all trades at this point. Now name something, I got you. You need a logo yeah. design? I got you. You need a graphic image? I got you. You need a dope mural? I got you. Ooh. You name it? I got you. <laughs> yeah. So. Hey, you did some murals in San Diego, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, hey, bro, I just, just finished my my last project. I just finished one. So I don't know if you guys heard of it yet. His, the shop is called Your Divine Flowers. It's off okay. of Claremont near Mission Bay area. It's right next to a coffee shop. But he has his own little thing where... He has his own little shop, and then we collabed, and I was able to do this dope mural for him. So if y'all in the town, just swing by Divine Flowers. It's okay. To find. Take a picture, tag me, and I'm going to share you and everything. Show the love. You all support. I'm going to support y'all, man. Hell Come out yeah. There. It's a dope mural for sure, for sure. Okay. Hell yeah. Have you have you done any murals out in uh, Maryland from where you're from and shit? Yeah, yeah. So I did a couple. I did a couple back in Maryland. I did about like three or four. Two I did for uh, a barn reserve company. So it was like a nature reserve. Mm -hmm. So they had me paint some like nature stuff. And that was was dope. That was one of my first couple ones. But my other big one I did at my old school. So Delaware Valley University where I got my undergrad in Mm -hmm. wildlife conservation. They, they called me back out. I was like two years after I graduated. They're like, hey, we know you're still part of the school and you want to be, we want to bring some artists and bring some collab. And then from there, I was talking to the president of the school, made something happen. Now I, put, I painted a dope mural there. And Damn. now it's been, they've been loving that, bro. That was the, hey, I ain't gonna hold you. That's that payday from the school. 
yeah. put me in a mindset like I can make it as an artist. No yeah, cat, you bro, like, I'm an artist <laughs> now. When I when I seen the zeros on that paycheck, bro. Yo, <laughs> hey, hey, yo. yeah. I was like, cool. I was humble. I was humble. <laughs> Hey, hey. Tumble about it. But I seen the zeros on that. I was like, hey, nah, man, that's from, hey. brag about it. That's what I'm yeah, just from painting, my boy. I was like, yo, painting really might be the move. So yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta find a way to, you know, when you're doing it by yourself, you gotta book it, you gotta find mm -hmm. clients. There's a lot going on. So, but okay. it's a process though. I don't, I don't want to skip no steps. You feel me? So, I'm glad you, I'm glad you're talking about that right now because that was gonna be my next question. How is it being an up and coming? artists you feel me like what's the what's the trials what's the tribulations what's the good and the bad you feel me so it's 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 some of everything it's basically you in your own world basically so it's like whatever direction i want to go in i can choose it but i want to be focused you gotta like they mm -hmm. i always talk to like mentors and other artists that already are established they like yeah. kind of lock in and figure out what your niche is like something you're really good at that's different from everybody else me okay. i'm good at a bunch of stuff but the thing that really people really resonate with me is my painting. So okay. I've really been trying to hone that in and like figure out how I can just start putting my paintings everywhere. And that basically means I just got to be more consistent on social media. Consistency mm -hmm. is the biggest thing. No matter what avenue of streaming or whatever you want to do in life, consistency is the biggest thing. And that has been like not my downfall, but it's like when you're self-motivated, you you have the highs where you're consistent, then you have the lows, it's like a roller coaster ride. So you'd be like, Oh yeah, I'm motivated. I just dropped five videos. Yeah. But the thing about it is none of those five videos might hit viral or go viral, but then you're like, damn, you, you feel defeated. But that's yeah. where you gotta keep yourself up and going, like keep yourself, you like, keep your mind right. So it's just like that constant battle you go through, like, okay, cool. I just did all this, but I gotta keep grinding because I know it's gonna pay off at the end of the day. Because it happened to me before. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, now that I'm in a different state and different people, different environments, I got to build that all back up again. So it's it's definitely going to get there. It's just a process of me being more consistent. That's more of the downfalls. But the good thing about it is, like, once it starts going good, I can work from anywhere. I mean, I can sell anywhere. Yeah. I can, I, I'm my own boss. So it's mm -hmm. like, you know, you, you start to get financial freedom eventually and you everybody who really is about that ground really want that in life like financial mm -hmm. freedom because that takes away a lot of stress especially if you want to help out your boys yeah. help out your family like because once i get right i know i can show my other boys how to get them right you know what i'm saying it's all about mm -hmm. bringing the people around you up so yes. it's not a, like a selfish thing so it's just like start you got to get yourself right so you can help other people you know what i'm saying so exactly. it's all this stuff going through my head but deeply it's all about the art you know what i'm saying spreading love making people happy making people smile and just like when people see my art they see a story so it's not like oh i just painted some five lines on a canvas or something. Like, yeah <laughs> it's not i'm sorry but like as an artist i ain't trying to i'm not mad at you all art hey look look all art is art but some you can let you know what's good and what's bad Hey, excuse me. Hey, excuse me, little one. I'm I'm in an interview right now. They, my my little puppies want to get involved. See, they mad too. They <laughs> they letting the world know. You feel me? They was letting the world know. Hold up, you froze on me. Can you hear me? You're. Oh, it's not. We still going, but anyway. My boy, we had a little couple technical difficulties right now. I can't even see my boy right now. He done froze up. Let me see. Hold on. Can you hear me right now, my boy? Well, we're going to be right back. There's a little something. We just lost Kamal for a hot second. But, oh, man, oh, man. We still going to be in there, though. We were just now getting right to the juicy parts of it. We just better go in. Uh, 
Yo, my bad, y'all. Yo. Hey. We wait, we wait for the guest. My bad, y'all. The internet crapped out, yo. That's never happened before. Bro, I've been streaming for hell long, and that's never happened. Bruh. That's a... Uh, we back. We back. We back. Yeah. Hey, you know what? F all that. That's the internet fault. You feel me? I My know, but look. Hey, look. I'm trying to let you know right now. God, no, the devil don't want me to be great, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Stop it. He <laughs> don't, don't, bro. Yo, he don't want you to bro. He don't want to. He like, nah, fuck that. I can see his grind. He motivated. He better be. He like, hell no, I gotta cut this shit short. Yeah, I'm like, hold up, That's bro. Example, bro. You bitch ass motherfucker. Yo, okay. I'm telling you, oh, he really don't want me to be great, bro. That's for. That's crazy, because i seen your stuff. I'm like, bro, I'm like, ain't no way this happened on my interview. That's crazy. What? That's cool. That's cool. It's cool. I, I see. Hey, look, you already, hey, I'm letting y'all know right now. If y'all document document that right now, because I'm letting you know. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm. I, it's, meant, it's meant to be. I, I, yeah. I, it's like that. At the end of the day, it's meant to be. Whatever yeah. God got for me is going to happen. So I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Fuck the technical difficulties. We out. We here. I hey. don't know what he's trying to do. We still here. We you back on it. Hey, yeah. I, just learned, I just learned something now, though, bro. But damn, I that never happened before, y'all. You feel me? Y'all be watching my damn show. Y'all understand. But anyway, let's get back to it. Yo, the art scene in Baltimore compared to the art scene in San Diego. Uh, let me know some of like the similarities so, and some. So of yeah, that. for sure, for sure. So that's part of the reason why I moved out to San Diego. I've been out here for like you know a couple years now, daddy this, daddy that. But I needed, I needed something different. The uh. The art scene in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, it's small. It's like it's there, but it's like if you're not going for school for the art, like yeah. you, you're really not gonna be known. Nobody's not really gonna appreciate you. You okay. know, the hardest thing was that you know I'm I'm a I'm a black man, I'm mixed. I, yes. I got a lot of DNA in me, I got a lot of shit in me, but okay, I'm I'm on the outside, I'm a typical black man in Baltimore. You know, people gonna look at you like ah, he's just an average black dude on to the next. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even though I can showcase my dope art, I can win art contests, I can win festivals, I can yeah. win at these things, people still look at me as like ah, he's just an average Joe out there. So yeah. I said I gotta go where you're appreciated, where art is appreciated. So I had to get out of Baltimore mm -hmm. and then come to, to a place where you know california new york miami they appreciate art yeah art is alive and well in these big cities so for real i said you know what if i can make it in cali i can make it anywhere so we here we okay. here and, and san diego has been nothing but a blessing my boy yeah. nothing but a blessing like when i first moved out here i was just popping up shop at like pb and like balboa park when i mean yeah. i was selling out i was selling out my art like crazy bro like mm. one weekend i made like Four five hundred dollars selling like four paintings. I'm like, bro, one weekend. I'm like, hold up, bro. That's this is two days, five hundred dollars. Let's do yeah. the math. And I only I'm only sitting out there for like four hours. That's like two fifty for four hours, bro. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's wow. That and I'm like, bro, if I can get this like way consistent, are we in there? So it's like things happen where you know I started working a full time job, and then it's like mm -hmm. I started less time to the arts, and so. The art field started, you know, dying down with me because I'm like, I'm not putting as much energy into it like it was yeah. in the beginning. So mm -hmm. it just happens. But now I'm like, I need to go full stream with this. Like, no, no if ands, ors, or buts. Taking that leap of faith, and I'm like taking flight with it. So yeah. So big things coming soon for sure, bro. For sure. Cause San Diego's a place they loving it out here, man. Yeah. Once I get once I get my name out there, it's a wrap, my boy. Okay. It's so a like, wrap. So like San Diego's more up appreciative of art yeah. in california alone compared to probably uh maryland basically right yeah 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 for sure even people were telling me like because i met i basically have art in all different states which is crazy which is a blessing nobody can really say like oh because me, me setting up at pb and balboa you don't just get your Hold typical on. san diego explain to, explain to the people that's not from San Diego that uh, or don't live out here with PB and Balboa. Okay, I got you. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. so all right, so these two spots, Pacific Beach is like a main college beach, a little where you can people walk on a boardwalk. So it's like a big boardwalk from Pacific Beach all the way down to Mission Beach, mm -hmm. all the way. You know, it, it it goes all the way. It's a long boardwalk type thing. You know, you can just set up there. It's like a little typical boardwalk. You know, set up mm -hmm. some art and it's freedom of speech. So people really can't say nothing to you. You know, I'm just chilling with my art. You know what I'm saying? You come, come appreciate it. 
if you want to. Come support it if you want to. Come donate if you want to. Yeah. I ain't selling nothing. Man. We got it online. <laughs> I ain't nothing selling here, my hey. boy. It's hey. all been donations. <laughs> <laughs> don't I know the IRS can't right. come after me. It's all been donations, my yeah. boy. So, <laughs> been... <laughs> oh my God, bro! Oh, damn, bro! Did I just incriminate myself online? <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. You, 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 no, I'm cool. You said allegedly. You know, you no, like, allegedly, you allegedly, my boy, allegedly, yeah, yeah, yeah allegedly, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, basically that's what PB is. And then Balboa Park is this big area where they have like a bunch of museums, a, a bunch of open field, you know, a mm -hmm. lot of walking space for people to just go enjoy different things there. And I pop up and sell art there too sometimes. Not even sell, just like donate and showcase my artwork and whatnot. Okay. So that's just a bunch of the two main spots I really like too because it's like a diverse crowd and having a diverse crowd just helps out because I get to see where the people are from, see mm -hmm. what people are interested in, see what their price ranges are. And just like people just always come to support, like even if they're coming just to donate, just like to tell me to keep going and keep grinding and tell me to do NFTs or do other stuff. People always want to come share knowledge. So it's, it's been really good out here because that energy was not in Merlin at all. Do you not, not at all? Do you think it's also because like you know San Diego, New York, they're very in like California, LA. It's a lot of tourist people that come here. People come to visit. Compared to like Maryland, do you think that makes a difference also? I mean, yeah, I think I think that plays a part a little bit. That definitely plays a part because it's like it's it's, it's a diverse crowd and you, you like a diverse crowd because you know people gonna you might have nothing somebody else might like like, but somebody random might like your artwork, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So as that having that diversity and I, I do a range of like different paintings and like prints and designs. So having that range of stuff. It appeals to a lot of people so it's like i don't want to stick to just what san diego or san diegans or la people la laans i don't even know how to say it san diegans <laughs> laans laans <laughs> la yeah i mean yeah, like, whatever it is but you know they, they want a specific style <laughs> they Yo. want a specific style but yeah uh -huh. so having that diverse definitely helps out for sure for sure for sure so Okay. Well, yeah. So it's, it's been good though, man. It's been, it's been nothing but nothing but blessings, bro. For real, for real, man. Look, I see like stuff like this little Barbie movie had me inspired. Show off a little something, made this little Barbie. No, I'm in, I'm in a okay. little fashion. I know this was for the little ladies. I mean, I, yeah. I have a lot of stuff I'm working on. I mean, look at the little, the little Barbie is that, little. Flex, is that a purse? I mean. Yeah, a little okay. handbag purse. I mean, I do a lot, my boy. Okay. I've been designing and working on everything, but I know I just I posted it. Mm -hmm. It got a little bit of views. People was feeling it, so it's just like different stuff I'm working on, man. Just a whole lot of, whole lot what, of range of stuff. What social media has been very effective for you though? Which one out of all? I ain't gonna hold you. TikTok, 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 was showing, TikTok was showing love. And they okay. just, you know, what's great though? They just approved me to uh to start selling on the TikTok shop. So that's why I've been, I got to get on there, bro. Come on, hey, bro. bro. That's what I, I told you. Look, <laughs> hell hey. yeah. Hey, look, telling you. Get on it, let's, though, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So, yeah. hey, I already, that's that's the grind right there. So between TikTok, I'm going to pull everything from TikTok and start putting it on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. And then Instagram has just been the loyal people who know me for a while. They can just catch up with me. DM me if you want, you know, commissions and whatnot. That's where... Most of the transactions happen, but TikTok, they've been showing the love and support through like the likes and comments and shares. Yeah. But Instagram, people, that's where they what happens through email or if you have my phone number, you know, definitely can reach out. It's all my links and whatnot. And then the, my website going to be coming soon too. So I'm just re yeah, revamping that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm revamping that. So I got to make that more centered focus for just so people can just come through and buy type John. So, but all that's going to be coming soon. Like I, like we was talking about a little earlier, let me break it down. Like mm -hmm. my next project's coming in set September 17th because it's Sunday. So me, uh, my homeboy who runs the flower shop, we're collabing with this little coffee shop. We're trying to get this little whole little community to get together at her little coffee shop. It's a little small thing, but the more people that come out and support can help her stay in business because we all like small businesses come together. You feel me? Okay. So and that's how we build a great community. So. 
So is, is that where is it at though? So like people it's, that it's, it's that, going to be in Hillcrest. I'm gonna post it all on my social media. Okay. Our coffee shop is in Hillcrest, Hillcrest, okay. California. So yeah, if you live in San Diego, if you're local, it's going to be in Hillcrest. You know, what I'm saying a little diverse little area over there. So she has a coffee shop. Um, my homeboy, he's going to be doing uh, teaching about flowers and floral arrangements, and he won't have a couple classes during the day. And I'm okay. gonna be doing a little art show Why and not? a little art thing. We are in California. We talk about flower, flower, or the 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 other. Ah, hey, no. <laughs> hey, <right. laughs> he said the flowers. Okay. Hey. hey, look. Hey, hey, look. I mean, I ain't mad at you. You know what I mean? You know what's hey. up with the other flowers, but hey, it's not the Mary J that we all like. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's, okay. not, <laughs> it's not that rainbow cush that be floating around neighborhoods <laughs> and whatnot. I know we in Hillcrest, but you got that rainbow cush going. Hey, <laughs> 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 but nah, it's just little, you know, okay. Typical, okay. you know, floral first, stuff. Okay. stuff that impress the audience the out there, hold on. The people <laughs> that's not from San Diego or don't live in San Diego, Hillcrest is the area where <laughs> the, the food is really good, but it's mad. Capital G in with a Y, okay? Oh, all the alphabets, A to Z, whatever you want to name yourself. You got that, Joe. Yeah. It's, but it's a lovely, people are lovely, bro. We ain't no disrespect yeah. at all. It's all good vibes. That's all. Nah, we, we F with y'all. We joking on y'all. We F with y'all. That's the yeah. thing. You know yeah, for sure. For oh. sure. That's yeah. all it is. But yeah, that's what Hillcrest is all about. You know what I mean? Okay. Hella, hella friends out there. Hella cool people out there. So yeah, I said, let's all collab. You know, a bunch of small businesses come together and make a little event going on. You know what I'm saying? Get the people out and go and see different things. We got flowers, coffee, drinks. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have my art out there. Gonna have music. So, trying to get this whole little shindig together, whatnot, you know. And and on September 17th is when I'm gonna launch the website and launch everything. So y'all gotta stay prepared mm -hmm. anyway, man. So okay. even if you can't make it to Hillcrest and you're not from the San Diego area, stay tuned to my boy Kamal. Stay tuned with me because mm -hmm. stuff is gonna really be happening, and we're just trying to. You know, the more support we get, the more we can blow up thanks to you guys. And we just keep on grinding and working from there. You feel me? Yeah. So it's all in that process for sure. So. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, this will be my last question. Um, What type of artists or painters inspired you? I guess name name just two. Oh, oh man. Name I ain't going to hold you. <sighs> See, this question right here always gets me because it's like, I'm bad with names. Okay. <laughs> I'm Describe bad with names. Pictures, I guess. We're, we're, I just, you know, I'm, like, I'm, so, right. I'm a picture guy, bro. I, I don't remember names. <laughs> oh, then what pictures then? Yeah. N name me two pictures that really inspired you. Like, yeah. Like the uh one chick that got the, the unibrow. What's See, her name? I don't know, fam. Look, so Frito, the thing about Frito Castro, just, is that her name? It may be. You, hey, you know more about it than me. Look, so the thing oh, about yeah. Let me let me break it down for you. So yeah. being a self-taught artist, okay. you kind of pull inspiration from like a whole variety of people and different things. So even if I go back to Cubism, way back to history, to so surrealism, to all these different minimalism, all these okay. different people doing big things, big names with those type of genres back in the day. Yeah. I, I get inspired by so much different like YouTube artists, what these different artists are doing nowadays that maybe some people might know they might not know their name, but I know of them like say. A couple YouTube artists that I, I really like is his. There are two of them. One name is Kipto, Kipto. and then the other name is Ten Hundred. Ten Hundred. Yeah, it, it go by Ten Hun. So T. Ten Hun. E, yeah, Ten Hun, but Ten Hundred. You know what I'm okay. saying? That so these two artists on their YouTube artists, but man, they be doing they be doing some dope stuff, man. It's like those are two artists that come straight to mind that I, that are like mentors and that I follow their lead and be inspired by them. Okay. Because of what they doing and what they what they got going on with them on like the YouTube community and just the art community in general. Mm. But yeah, it's just like I pull when I mean I pull inspiration from everybody, bro. Because that's that's what helped me keep original. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. in the art world, they say nothing's really original because you know somebody else has done it before. But it's like you gotta find a way to add your own touch, your own spice to things. Add and your own flavor to it. Yeah. Know? So it's like that's what makes it original and that's what makes it like I know you didn't even ask this question, but that's what makes artists different from like AI artists okay. or AI in general because oh, let's that's talk a big about thing. That. Yeah, yeah that it's, it's a big thing right now because it's like 
everybody's like telling me like, oh, it's pointless to be an artist and AI is going to take over everything and AI this and AI that. But I'm at the end of the day, I'm telling you right now, the journal public does not care about AI art. They think it's cool for like swiping through their phones, yeah. seeing it on TikTok, seeing it for a hot second, but they're not sitting here printing out AI art and putting it on their walls. People Hell. still like original art. People still like, they like to know the story behind like how they made something. People yeah. still like to meet the artists that did it and actually know like, oh, they actually put time to this and actually invested into this. And there's something meaningful. If their name gets bigger, I have something that's worthwhile versus the AI art that's printed and then I like, bam. Ain't nothing really to it, you know what I'm saying? And then with the AI art, it might look good for a high second, but it's just not like it's not something that's timeless, you know what I'm saying? That can go with you from generation to generation because AI mm -hmm. art is gonna be like easy go and easy go. Nobody yes. want nothing that's easy. Like, come on, man. We don't, well, art is a valuable asset, my boy. So it's like when people donate and invest in art, you're really getting something back because it, it lasts a lifetime, man. Yeah, that AI art can go nowhere, bro. That can go. I, I appreciate it because it. You gotta work with like with artists, bro. Mm -hmm. Thing about it is, people are scared of AI art, but you gotta embrace it, man. This is technology. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you gotta embrace it, but don't don't abuse it. You feel me? Cause some mm -hmm. people want to try to oh, let's make a whole business like let's use AI for everything. You're not gonna really build a connection with the clientele because you're using a computer generated image from other images from other artists. Yeah. You feel me? It's like that shit gonna look weak as fuck anyway. It'd be all like you could tell at times. Right. You could, you could it. And ain't it like at the end of the day, in the uh, I don't know, I, I'm a not yeah, yeah. In the art world and stuff like that. But isn't people usually buy art because of the person? It's more the person, you know what I mean, and their story. So, right. So it's yeah, the reason like most of the time people buy the art and support of the person and because they really like what the what the person has made, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's really that simple, like. You find a buyer or somebody that really likes your artwork, they yeah. want to support you or not. They really like it. They want to buy it because they know you're a good person. They know what the type of vibe you're putting out. You know what type of energy you're bringing out. And they're like, oh, man, I really want to support him. And I like his art. That's a win-win. Mm -hmm. But if there's a disconnect on any of those things, man, you're not going to do nothing with that. And that's where, like, not bashing AR, AI art in that way. It's just that it doesn't have that human-to-human -human connection that AR that original art has over AI art, you know what I'm saying? So doesn't it seem like if you can't sell just real art in real life, you you can't say sell AI art? Yeah, hey, it, it, it be like that though. But it's the difference is that some people are mentally creative, like so they can come up with like a great story and they put it in a prompt and for the AI art and it'll make something dope. You know what I'm saying? But they you. can't. People can't envision that with their fingers. So mm -hmm. a lot of people can write out what they want you know what I'm saying that's why i'll get all my clients because they were like i have this idea but i suck at drawing and i can't bring my image to life so yeah. I bring, i'm like my model's like endless ideas brought to life so i sit here and like whatever idea you have i can bring it to life i can make it fruition i can bring it up so i have i have the picture memory you know what i'm saying i have the picture i can see whatever you tell me i can see it in my head and start putting it out together and i can bring it out but You're that's like the thing. yeah yeah it sounds like that and that's where yeah. people like I get if you don't have that type of mindset or like you wasn't like blessed to have that type of creativity, mm -hmm. you want to dive into the AI world and see what AI art can come because it's like quick and easy. It's like, okay, cool. Let me type in what I want. I have this great idea. AI art is going to produce it real quick. And then yeah. from there, you can be like, oh, bam, this is what I like versus hiring an actual artist who can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you were talking to an artist, they can build with you. They ask certain questions that AI art won't ask the questions for because you got to tell AI. AI what to do. Yeah. They're just going to do what you tell them. So if you're already limited on that mindset versus talking to an artist that knows different avenues and like, oh, what about this? Or what about that clientele? What if you're reaching out to hair? Yeah. It makes a big difference. So for all those people that say AI is going to take over, I doubt it. I just feel like for the artists that are smart, they're going to use, take advantage of what AI has to offer and build on Paul and their art. You know what I'm saying? Because they're bro. like, with me, when it comes to AI art, when I need a quick idea, I type it in. I'm like, okay, cool. Or from there, I'm just already have like 10,000 exploration ideas ready to go. So mm -hmm. it's just, it's just like a, to me, I just use it as like a, a Google. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, cool. Oh, okay. Let me just look it up. Let me see what this look like. Let me see what a dragon and a anaconda look like together. You know what I'm saying? There's <laughs> no images Conda. on Google. <laughs> Draconda. <laughs> you know what I mean? Draconda. 
<laughs> hey, yo, look, we gotta get ready for Hillcrest. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> that is wild, bro. That is wild. Hey, bro. wild. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but you know, but yeah, so it's like no image or no images are available like that on the mm -hmm. internet. So AI comes in, they can do it quickly, but it's not gonna be the image I'm looking for specifically. Yeah. I gotta take what they give me and I gotta mold it to what I actually want it to happen. So yeah, because like real uh 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 it could be like you want the head of the dragon and a body of a anaconda, and you right. end up with a the, the tail of an anaconda and a dragon. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It don't be understanding sometimes, but that's where you got to be the artist and be able to like take what outside images and like take inspiration from everywhere, not just AI. Take inspiration from everywhere and use your knowledge and bring it all together. So that's what makes it like a blessing being an artist. You know, what I'm saying actually taking your time and studying it and you know practicing over the years and years and years man okay do you think in, in years from now ai art is going to be beefing like with real artists it's going to be like you know what i mean or is that happening right now where like people are like yo bro you ai artists bro y'all y'all bullshitting right now <laughs> i mean i i don't i don't think it's going to be like specifically beefing i think it's just going to be its own avenue you know what I'm saying? Just oh, like I a form you. of art. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like photography. You know how we got black and white photography, but then yeah. we just got like old school like photography that makes it look like they're from the 80s and 90s like style of photography. It's just going to be its own little avenue. And for those that community that really likes AI art and things in the world, it's just going to be for them. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. not really going to be because like when I'm outside talking to people selling art, talking to the general public, nothing yeah. comes up about AI art. They don't say nothing to me about AI art. They don't care about it. They say, oh, yeah, I see that stuff on my phone. I just keep swiping. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, this is and this is like the general public from age 20 to, like, 40. This is what they're telling me. So it's like, if it ain't mainstream right now and they're not really into it, it's going to take years for them to even get to accept this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So True. it's still a long time coming for AI art to take over. But yeah. I, I still think there's going to be an avenue for like original artwork and i can show you a couple pieces that i did you know what i mean recently Throw some pieces yeah, let's go girl I mean, something light something light, something light so we got this one right here i haven't named it just Ooh. yet but it's oh, like it a little the, uh, it got the uh crystal yeah the look you know what i'm saying diego girls like the little crystal yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> oh googly <laughs> over crystal he gave me a little crystal on his little forehead yeah that's <laughs> nice man but yeah, it's like a little galaxy drawing, little night, little photo, you know what I'm saying? Something light. I like but that. Yeah, people like it, something different. And that's one of them. Um, that's another one, you know. People are into, you know, oh, the really like faces. That. Yeah, so we I got the little flowers like up like top. Do some shrooms type of art. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, got the little mushrooms on the side. I mean, if you like it, you know what's up. You know what's up. I mean, hell yeah. Go outside. But hey, like the meaning of this you know this painting like the reason why i got her blue is to signify like the water in the ocean how like water is okay. everything and that brings life you know yeah. what i'm saying we 75 percent water yeah so it's just like it, this is us we're alive you know what i'm saying we breathe life in the things you know what i'm saying and only certain things will grow if you want it to grow so you gotta feed feed yourself and then you can feed everything around you. You know what I mean? You got to feed your boat. You got to feed your feed, own boat first. Feed yourself. You can yeah. feed everybody else around you. Okay. Yeah. You got to yeah. feed it, man. You got to make sure you good, man. Make sure you right. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. this is for those ladies out there that want to be inspired. You know what I mean? So okay. something like that. Got her little cross on her neck. Cause With the necklace? Up. Yeah, that shit is dope, bro. Yeah. So something like that. So are you gonna are you gonna have this artwork on your website once it's up? And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have a uh, yeah. Once I get it up and going again, I'm gonna have it all on my website. Come September 17th, everything we're gonna do like a little nice little drop. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be posting all of my social media. So when you guys are ready, you guys gotta follow because stuff mm -hmm. goes quick. I ain't gonna hold you. There's, people still appreciate original art i'm letting y'all know right now so y'all yeah. might say y'all like it and y'all might say oh I'm, I'm gonna buy that but you gotta be first in line because it's like you know like those clothing lines where they just drop yeah. specific drops and if you're not one of the first 100 ready to go you done missed out <laughs> missed out that's how it is exclusivity yes sir that's how it is especially when you hey look i call them royal creations man 
Hey, Royal you want a Royal Croatian? Okay. That's an exclusive, man. I I can't just be out here just selling to any and everybody. You got to be exclusive, yeah. man. Okay. Got exclusive artwork for the exclusive people that support, and then it's the royal fam, bro. Mm -hmm. Hey, royal O for the royal family, yo. Where all my royalties at? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I I can ask you a ton ton of more questions. We are gonna say that for another time, though. You feel me? I like. Yeah, for sure. Save it. Know. Save it for the the part two when we really done. I got a lot to show yeah. you, man. Cause I'm, I'm about to action, my boy. I'm I like we doing this interview now because I I, mm -hmm. I want to get the word out there that no matter where you start at in life, start mm -hmm. now, be consistent, and just keep working on your grind for real, for real. Because mm -hmm. yeah, we it might be small right now, but yo, give it a just imagine if you put in three months of hard work. You just, never know where you're gonna be at in three months, like you feel crazy, me? Like, hey, stuff this, can happen, bro. You know, it's also just stuff. imagine, you know. Look where Oprah started. Yeah, facts. <laughs> facts. You facts. 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 You know what I mean? Facts. Think facts. of it like that. You know what I mean? Tyler yeah, Perry. For real. Facts. Even though facts. they swindled him out of BT, you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Well, Tyler Perry, thing. yo. You, let's yeah. talk about Medea. Sorry, let me stop. <laughs> yeah. Are you there? Nerd. nerd. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Like, nah. that for another time, no, bro. All right, man. Look, let my audience know. I know you let them know throughout the uh, interview and stuff like that, but let them know again the uh, any upcoming projects, where they can find you, anything else you want my audience to know before we get out of here. You feel me, bro? Yeah, yeah, I got you. So once again, thank you guys for all that was watching. You know, I appreciate y'all coming through and showing the love and support for me and my boy, Kamal. But hey, the name's Omari Mori. Remember that name. But all the name for all the social medias is Royal O. So R period O Y A L underscore O. That's on the Instagram. That's the TikTok. You can look it up on YouTube. Or you can just search my name on Mari Morning on either one of those platforms. And I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I don't really use the Twitter or the what's the new one? Threads. Threads. Really You're not on here, bro. It. I'm not really into it. I'm more just I'm I'm right. I'm really about the just the art and showcasing the art and you know doing the model and stuff on the side. You know what I'm saying? So that's where you can find me. Um, like I said, the, remember the date September 17th. That's uh that's next month. We're, uh -huh. we're really ready trying to push this project for September 17th. We got a little community get together in Hillcrest. So if you're local to San Diego, stay tuned to all the socials. I'm gonna have all the flyers, information, details for all of that out. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's a wrap for me, man. Project's right. coming out September 17th. That's when all the drops is going to be there. Mm -hmm. So, y'all get – I'm hyped for it. Y'all going to get me hyped for it. You know what I mean? Kamar got me hyped for it. So, yeah. everything's lining up. You know what I mean? About to get my own little studio. You know what I mean? Like, we, yeah. <laughs> we get in there, bro. So, it's like, yo, we in Cali, don't it? You feel me? It's mm -hmm. like Cali already expensive. Long story short, it's extensive out here, but yeah. we out here grinding regardless. So yeah, we doing the shit, here. bro. You we here, me? so and we here. Look, bro, I'm gonna tell y'all all my audience out there, my fam and everything like that. Like, I, my audience is my fam. Well, some of them is. Some of my audience <laughs> yeah. are some cocksuckers. Y'all be saying <laughs> mean things. Kind of hey look, hey look, but you know what they say? If you don't got haters, hey, bro, yeah. shoot, you got them. Hey, you know you made it with somebody hating. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just behind the screen, Twitter type and stuff. Like I'm hating. Like okay, let them hate. Keep going. You good? Hate all you want, my boy. Hate all you want, my girl. Hate all you want, they whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, cool. um, I'm gonna have all the descriptions to your uh to your social medias and everything. I'm gonna have it. In the uh, all the links, I said the description. Yeah, I got you. All the links in the description below, so it make it easy for y'all. Y'all can just tap in, bam, hit the link. It goes straight to uh old social medias and stuff like that, bro. Once again, man, I appreciate you for coming on to the show. You feel me? Blessing yeah. with your presence. You feel me? And letting us know about the artist uh, industry and the art world and stuff like that, bro. Nah, I appreciate it. Appreciate. Uh, hey, look, I appreciate you, my boy, man. Hey, listen, for all y'all watching right now, support, 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 because this man's been on a mean grind. I mean, that joint is grind. Support my boy, because, hey, I would never have done this interview if it wasn't for him. Hands down, boy. 
hands Damn. down. It's, only, it's, it's because of him that I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And okay. it's because of him that you know stuff blow up. I'm I'm like I'm like I'm looking out for the people that's always been in front of Rick. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. I need y'all need to show the support. Even no matter what it is, man, we appreciate anything for sure, yo. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? We just humble people out here just grinding, trying to spread facts. Yeah, this boy be speaking facts. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Back, so y'all gotta chill. So you know if I'm on the show, he's speaking facts. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. So, y'all yeah, know yeah. what time it is. But uh, yeah, man. Look, at this another episode of Storm in the Brain. I'm yeah. your hated host, Kamal, aka the Black Seinfeld, aka Magic X. And for my tubers out there, YouTube been around since 2005. I don't need to tell y'all what to do to get the video or the channel booming. But just like the rest of the tubers say. I'm going to say the same thing. Like a sub. Sub a share. Share a comment. Comment a like. Y'all know what to do. Some of y'all smart out there. You feel me? Hey, for my Twitch family, though, hit your bro with a follow. Hit your bro with a share. That'd be greatly appreciated. You feel me? I also appreciate my lovely sponsor, First Place mm -hmm. The link to the shop going to be in the description below. Y'all go check out the fire-ass garments. Made out of 100% Egyptian cotton. I guarantee a boost your sex appeal up by, let's say, uh, 43%. And look here. If it look good on me, it's most yes, definitely going to look good on y'all, okay? And with that being said, look, man, I appreciate my bro. Oh. Yes, sir. Artists out here. Yes, sir. From Maryland to San Diego, Cali. Ah! We out here, bro. We hey, outside. Man, I appreciate you. And y'all out there, bro. Y'all go show my bro some love. Y'all go follow, bro, and follow his journey. And that artwork is clean. You feel me? Y'all go cop. You feel me? And with that being said, we out, y'all. Peace. Peace out.